Hello and welcome to Arabic language uh, lessons. This is lesson number 13, the plural, the unchanged. And in this part, we're going to talk about uh, the plural, the unchanged when it comes to actions. So, الدرس رقم 13 الجمع السالم And we're dealing with uh, الأفعال or أفعال, actions. Uh, previously, we've dealt with names. Now we're going to deal with actions. So before we start, we say as usual, Assalamu alaikum. So uh, similar to the lesson before, where we dealt with the plural, and uh, we're just adding this time when it comes to actions. So it's the same word, jama, ah, and we're just adding a pronoun. So you have like, in English, it's they collected. In Arabic, it's not two words; it's just one word. The red part at the end of the word uh, substitutes the they. So jama'u means they collected. Yajma'un is they collect. So this is like the basic concepts. Just you add that uh, wow and alif or wow noon depending on the, 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 the time, the, the time tense. Like they collected, that's in the past. They collect. This is in the present. يجمعون. And yeah, uh, still we're still with. Uh, otherwise, like if, uh, if you wanna separate them into two or uh, three, as we mentioned in the lesson number twelve. If you haven't watched it, please go back and watch it because this is a continuation of lesson twelve. So we're still with the unchanged masculine plural when it comes to actions, as we're gonna see here. So the unchanged masculine plural جمع المذكر السالم And when it comes to actions Previously we dealt with names, now we're dealing with actions So it's a plural form where the singular form has not changed But gets a wow alif at the end for the past tense ماضي ماضي Which means past Or wow noon at the, the end for the present tense مضارع. and notice the the fatha uh, on top of the noon this is very important as well so this is a so this is the basic concept and uh, next we'll deal with examples and you, you'll understand more with the examples I feel so the first example we have uh, comes from the root kafara and it's from Bab Nasara. And this is the singular form. If you remember them, oh, we've, we've dealt with them in the roots lesson. So if you, uh, if you haven't seen this before, those two words, go back to the root lesson and uh, you know watch it, learn a little bit about the roots, and come back. So the, the singular form is kafara, means he disbelieved, like one person. And you have yakfur, means he, he's disbelieving. Or he disbelieves uh, with the S over here, right? And now we're gonna take this word and we're gonna make it plural. And as you can see here, the the red part in the word is the pronoun they. In both cases, so kafaru means they disbelieved. Kafaru. Yakfurun is the plural form or jam yakf. So the, the red is uh, acts as the pronoun they. So it could be they are disbelieving or they disbelieve continuously. Like in a mudare sense or a present sense, and it continues, right? And we have uh, two examples of this because uh, you'll find this word a lot in the Quran. Kafara or yakfur or kafaru or yakfurun. Kafir also, like uh, this root... Uh, has many words as you can as you'll begin to see in Arabic that a, a root gives you many 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 words but uh, up until now I feel like you, you have uh, uh, you have learned like a few if you can collect them I'm not sure of the number actually but uh, yeah we dealt with the action doer the done upon and so forth and in front of us here we have four examples kafaru they disbelieved Kafara, he disbelieved. 
yakfurun they they are disbelieving or they disbelieve yakfur means he is disbelieving or he disbelieves inna alladhina kafaru it's from the cow six kanu yakfuruna bi ayatillah cow 61 all right, so the next example we have comes from the door daraba, and we're going to deal with the word itself that leads the door, we can say, or the section, right? So, darabu is the plural form or jam daraba, daraba. This might this letter might be hard to pronounce, but uh, give it your best shot. You know, da da. Daraba. So it can mean strike or give an example, as we have seen in the root uh, lesson. If you, uh, yeah, you should you should watch the root lesson before this one for sure. Uh, we've dealt with this word over there. So darabu, and we have yadribun. Jama yadrib. So yadribun is they are striking. I feel like you got the concept of what's going on. How the wow noon acts similar to the they, and the wow alif acts similar to the they as well. Undur kayfa darabu lakal amthal. Here it's give example, as we have mentioned in the root lesson. Darab could mean a, a strike, it could also mean give example, it could also mean kind, like you know. A Darb min al kilab, a kind of dog, right? Anyhow, so uh, I think we we pronounce them, yeah. Yadribuna ujuhahum wa adbarahum. So yadribun, they strike. So see how it works. They strike. In Arabic, it's uh, the other way around. Like we say, strike they it means like they struck. Like it, you know, just like we write from right to left, you guys write from left to right. Same thing, like, you know, uh, you'll rearrange your uh, the way you think when you learn Arabic. And when you start thinking in Arabic, it will be very different. Like, uh, you'll go the other way around, even in thinking. Right? All right. Uh, the third example we have is Fataha from this root. Fa ta ha, and it's from another door. I tried to mix up the doors or the sections. Bab qata'a, qata'a yaqta', fataha yaftah. So fatahu is the plural form of fataha. So they opened. Fatahu. Yaftahun, yaftahun, which is the plural form or jam' of Yaftah, they are opening, or they open, they open like continuously, because this is a mudari, right? Mudari as in like present tense. All right. ولما فتحوا متاعهم وجدوا بضاعتهم. So متاعهم is their belongings, like whatever. Uh, yeah, their belongings, like whether it's bags or something similar to that. Wajadu here is, uh, you know, similar has the pronoun, I should highlight it, red. We're not dealing with this word, but you can see, like, it's it's similar, right? Fatahu wajadu. Wajad is he found. Wajadu is they found. See, they found in the past form, because, see this here? So, they found. Bida'atahum is like their... Uh, you know, uh, like for business, like what do you have? Uh, one second. All right, so bida'atahum uh, is like their commodity or their goods, like business goods. And we'll deal with this pronouns, uh, these kinds, home, uh, in another lesson. But for now, we're just dealing with uh, those two. Uh, the wow alif and the wow nu. All right, guys. So let's move on to uh, example number four. And it comes from the root ha ma da, and it's from the door or section fahima. So fahima yafham hamida 
Yahmed. Hamida is he praised? Yahmed is uh, he he's praising or he praises, right? Hamidu it means they praised, which is the plural form or jam Hamida. Both in the past, those two. First line is in the past. Yahmadun is the plural form of Yahmad. And this is in the present form. So Yahmadun means they are praising or they praise. And uh, in the example, I couldn't find it in, uh, in the Quran, like those two forms. You'll find this uh, root has many words in the Quran. But those two weren't there. You might find something that looks like them, but it's not this words. It's not these words. Sorry, it's not these words. It's words that look like them. And as you move on in the lessons with me, you'll find that we will try to put them together and, you know, tell the difference. It's a fun game to play. Tell the difference between the two words and what makes them different and whatnot. Uh, so I found... Uh, a uh, example from what is called a uh, hadith qudsi meaning uh, a saying uh, that is attributed to god it's different than the, a saying attributed to the prophet uh, anyways uh, it's something that you know you learn in you know religion class or something so you're not going to learn this here <laughs> but anyways uh, so in this example uh, we find the word hamidu which is they praised in the past form, in the past tense. And we find other words that have uh, the concept in them. So, yuhibbun, yuhib by itself, this one, yuhib means uh, they like or they love. Yuhibbun is they like or they love, right? They love. Hamida, as we said, praise. Hamidu is they praise. And uh, I made sure I colored the wow because you learned this in another lesson when we dealt with the letters, which means and, wa means and, wa shakaru. So here, shakaru, shakara means he thanked, shakaru is they thanked in the past. Moving on, we have yakrahun. So, yakrah means he hates. Yakrahun is they hate. See here? Ihtasabu, again, it has it. Wasabaru, again, it has it. But I want you to get the concept more than the words. So, you have the, the concept down, which is good. Uh, this is a hadith or saying number. 94 from the book Patience and its Rewards by Ibn Abil Dunya. This is his name if you want to write it down. All right, moving on to uh, example number six. And it comes from the root Fasada. Fasada. And it comes from Bab Nasara. If you remember, Nasara Yan Sur, right? Or Nasara Yansir. It works both ways. Like this one is uh, unique in that sense. Anyhow, so Fasadu means they got corrupted. Yeah, I should put got. Got corrupted. Sorry. Got. They got. Yeah. Looks bad. Looks better. Yeah, they got corrupted. I think that's uh, where it differs. If you say yafsudu uh, or afsadu. All right, let's let's. Uh, sorry, uh, let's keep on track. Fasadu is the plural form of fasada. That means they got corrupted. So fasada, like he got corrupted, or it got corrupted. Oh, so if you say fasada at means the food got corrupted. Fasadu means they got corrupted. And it's the plural form or jama fasada got corrupted. Alright, so 
uh, second one let me yeah all right yuf sidun yuf sidun yuf sidun yuf sidun is they are corrupting or or they corrupt on a regular basis or a like continuous basis they're corrupting they are corrupting yeah and it's the plural form of yuf sid yuf sid all right zidna zidnahum adaban fawq al adab bima kanu yufsidun and you can see the the one the concept we're, we're learning right here in another word and this is for another lesson this word because it's very important for a, a grammar concept but you can see the the wow alif at the end which is the pronoun for they so it's here as well uh, so for the for the second word that we have up here I couldn't find it in the in the Quranic text but I did find it in one of the poems it's a really good poem by Abu Ja'far al-Shibani if you want to you know write his name I'm, I'm not sure you're ready for poems yet but you know it's it's, it's in a poem so it, it does exist somewhere and you'll find in Arabic we look for words in poems and you know it's it's one of the bases of preserving words is poems because it you know, you, you say it in a poem, the poem kind of makes the word uh, almost immortal because it's still there. If people remember the poem, the word doesn't get lost. So, يَقُولُونَ الزَّمَانُ بِهِ فَسَادٌ وَهُمْ فَسَدُوا وَمَا فَسَدَ الزَّمَانُ So they are saying, and I'm going to highlight the concept that we have here. So, يَقُول, يقول by itself, the black, is uh, he says, يقولون الزمان به فساد. So they're saying that time has in it corruption. وهم فسدوا. And they're the one that got corrupted. فسدوا got corrupted. They're the ones that got corrupted. وما فسد الزمان. And the time has not uh, hasn't got corrupted. Yeah, the time hasn't got corrupted. So we finished uh, our last example for this lesson. Uh, please uh, subscribe and share to support the channel. And uh, I've added recently a donate button. If you feel like you want to, you know, support this channel even more, you could uh, donate. And but most important, share this uh, with your friends. And uh, till next lesson, ma'a as-salam.